Hello, my name is Dmitry and I'm from Russia. And I'm the head of the Odmeter studio. By being an architect and then making games, I devoted my life to the culture of my country. But today in Russia, people like me aren't called patriots, but traitors. They're persecuted and sentenced just because they call things by their names. They call special operation a pointless, crazy war and people that started with criminals. Many of us who disagree with the regime that allows crimes against innocent people in Ukraine even had to leave the country. I think this war is largely a consequence of the political infantilism of Russians, which is rooted in Russian Orthodox culture, where obedience and patience are the main virtues, constant repentance turning into almost self-hatred. I know this because I grew up in a very religious family and spent a lot of time in church. This is the theme that our game Indica explores. This and the theme of religion in general, which is now especially relevant since the Russian Orthodox Church has become one of the weapons of propaganda. I'm absolutely convinced that you cannot live in peace with others until you learn to live in peace with yourself, to love and respect yourself. I would understand if 11-bit refused further cooperation with a company with Russian roots, just to avoid reputational risks. But I believe it was important for them to support the message that we promote. Because 11-bit took a strong anti-war stance from the first day of the war. And the fact that we worked together puts us on the same side regarding the shameful crime. And given our background, we believe that our anti-war stance will be heard even louder. Let me tell you about Indica. Who is she, you ask? Well, she's a nun. A rather plain one, if you ask me. She prays a lot, works hard. <sighs> really? On top of that, she's obedient and humble. Goodness, she even finds some time to chat with... What do you call it? Chot. Poor, poor girl. Of all the boring places. Why do you want to go to heaven? 